Hey Facebook friends, Brian Reed here with Reed and Reed, and we're out and about in the greater Brandon area today to introduce you to some special friends of mine, Angela Tormey, Ally Legal Estate Planner, as well as my good friend Zach Kamish with uh, Kamish and Associates CPA, uh, and I wanted to show you their new space. So here we are, we're at the, I believe it's the Bella, what's the name of this plaza, Jason? Yeah, Bella. Well, they're going to tell you about the name of the plaza, but it's here in the Shrimp Boat, Gasparilla Pizza Plaza, I can see that now, I can smell it even more importantly, so after this video, I know where I'll be heading, but come on in. Let's introduce you to Angela and Zach. Okay. There you go. Wonderful sign. I, I got to know where he got that from because I, I need one of those in my office. That's beautiful, isn't it? And without further ado, Angela Tory, a good friend. Zach Kamish, my other good friend. They're my B&I group, Prosperity in Action. So definitely come check us out if you want to meet them in person. But let's start. Ladies first, right? Angela, yeah. <laughs> Angela, what, did, what, did, what do you do? Why am I here? Well, so um, I'm so glad you're here today. I handle estate planning and firearms planning for local folks here in the Tampa Bay area. So that makes just making sure they have a proper will, medical and financial power of attorney, and just making sure they can rest in peace when that time comes. Yeah, and I've seen a, a couple of my friends on Facebook post uh, some firearms or that they've purchased for some loved ones. Is there anything that you can do or some advice you can give about what, you know, what people might be getting themselves into with that? Absolutely. I'm so glad you asked that. So when it comes to um, firearm ownership in the state of Florida, there are some specific laws and rules that have to be followed. One of the cool things that they can do to protect their assets is put that into a gun trust. A gun trust is a way for people to plan for incapacity and passing away because not everybody just up and dies. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there are some mental things that happen where they can no longer own or even legal things that happen where they can no longer own or possess their firearms. I'm sure there's a few of you out there that probably shouldn't be allowed to possess some firearms, but... <laughs> That's another discussion. Yeah. So um, what we can do is we can set that up for them so that um, whenever the time comes, only qualified people, responsible people under the eyes of the law can take and possess those firearms when the time comes. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'm pretty certain you can purchase a firearm for someone else under Florida's laws. But if there's is there special types of weapons, uh, rifles or, or firearms that really someone can land themselves in some hot water by by basically taking them out of their deceased father's home or anything like that? Absolutely. So one of the things that can happen in these situations is there are, you know, like you mentioned, there are some things that are controlled by Florida law, but then there are also things that are controlled by federal law and also the National Firearms Act. So those are things like short barrel rifles, silencers, and things like that. I do have a lot of clients that are interested in silencers for some items. And um, those things are controlled by the ATF and they are listed federally. And by transferring those to someone else, let's say you came into my house and I passed away and I passed away before you came in my house. <laughs> let's start with that. Then you came in and took possession of my firearms and I happen to have an NFA item. You could land yourself in a lot of hot water and commit an unintentional felony mm -hmm. by taking possession of that because you aren't authorized by law. Interesting. A gun trust can help prevent that from happening by naming the trust as the owner of the firearm that's tracked by ATF or the item that's tracked by ATF and making sure that that, that passes to the people that are listed in that trust without committing felonies very nice so that's very nuanced but uh if someone for instance doesn't even have any guns that require a, a gun trust or you're able to help your average joe who just might have a, a house that they want to pass down to their grandchildren absolutely so it's not just for so the, the gun trust that's a separate standalone uh, estate plan but with traditional estate planning as well we can help with probate avoidance which can be a lengthy and expensive process mm -hmm. by helping them set up a plan for what happens to all their things when they pass away very nice. All right. Well, let's move over to some uh, another very interesting uh, aspect of society, accounting. <laughs> Zach, well, well, first off, why don't you let everyone know where we're at, where your new office is. Tell us a little bit about that. We're at uh, 1070 Bloomingdale Avenue in Del Rico uh, in the Plaza Bella uh, Shopping Center. We're a uh, shrimp boat. I know uh, most of you probably know where Green Boutique is. We're right upstairs. Uh, there's the over on the right and stairs on the left. So. so one of the reasons we wanted to come here is because they just moved into this place. They're getting it furnished. It looks great, by the way. It's got this amazing desk that you hit a button and it turns into a standing desk. I need to have that. But it's a beautiful new location. So if you know of anyone that wants to stop by and say hi to Zachary Andrew, come by because there's also a pretty good pizza place right over there too, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right. And, uh, so back to accounting. Who's a good market for you? I know you you do a lot of uh, business for other businesses per right. se. Uh, why don't you tell our friends so I, a little bit about that? I focus that? on more of the small business owners, independent contractors, and high, high net worth individuals, help them t effectively tax plan for the year and the future. 
And so they keep their hardworking dollars away from the IRS legally. Yeah. yeah. They take enough of our money, don't they? Right. So uh, another back to Facebook. I mean, everyone seems to have a side hustle nowadays. That seems to be the new the new trend. So if, if any of you out there have a, a business where you're selling your, a craft that you enjoy making or you're you're providing a service and you haven't incorporated yet or even talked to an accountant, now's a great time. Definitely. So we're going to post uh, both of their information to the video, to the link. Uh, and also, you know, we, we network together week after week. I've known these guys for years. If you have started a new business and you want to meet some some people that are able to refer you business, come join us every Wednesday, 715 at the Brandon Rotary Building. We'll even post that information on this video as well. Come meet them in person. Come network with us. We'd love to see you. And other than that, uh, have a good weekend, everyone. Stay safe out there. And until next time, read and read. It's like having a lawyer in the family.